Hello Team Virgo, it's Empire333 here with your Love Tarot card reading. Virgo, I hope you're all doing well and safe wherever you are. I might extend this reading if Spirit guides me to and that link will be down below. I'll let you know throughout the video. If not, you could always book a personal with me. That information is also down below, okay? So Virgo, overall energy, you feel out of sync, Virgo. There's this shift you're going through and what I'm picking up intuitively is that your feelings are changing, okay? You're going through some type of shift. This could also have to do with if you're doing any type of healing or you're doing, you're like connecting with spirit or whatever it is, or you're doing any type of moon rituals, that sort of stuff. What's happening here is that your feelings are changing, okay? I feel that some of you are comparing yourselves to other people's relationships or how other people's romantic lives. There's a lot of that going on. You're up in your head about it, okay? No surprise for my Virgos, okay? I feel ya. But this is about you... Um, thinking about how you can make something better. So whether it has to do with your romantic life or with a person, it's you're up in your head about it, okay? You're losing patience because you're just thinking to yourself, hey, I've done it all. I have done A, B, C, D, E, F, G. I've done A through Z and I'm still not getting what I want. I'm still not in the connection, the type of connection that I want. I still don't have the person that I want, okay? So Virgo, you feel that you are a failure when it comes to romantic aspects, but you're thinking to yourself in your logical mind, you're like, I've done everything, okay? And so now you're saying, now what? I've been strong, I've been compassionate, I've been loving, I've been caring, I've done it all. Now, when is my time coming? Because you're losing patience. You want things to start moving, okay? And but what I'm getting here, um, Virgo, is that the balance you need is between your heart and your mind, okay? Once you open the door to that healing that you need, and look at the number that this is. This is a, equals a 7, 3 plus 4. I need to teach Virgo math. <laughs> I'm being sarcastic, Virgo. Um, but this is the seventh house, okay? This is your the opening the door to your romantic, the partnership aspect, the partnership house, okay? This is what it's about. And it has a lot to do with your boundary. It has a lot to do with your tolerance of what you receive and what you don't, okay? Have you been settling for less, Virgo? That's what I'm hearing. Have you been settling less because you know you deserve better? So it's kind of like the frogs that have come. Um, you know, are you just settling just because you want some type of, like you have somebody in your head or whatever it is, like you have some type of, story in your head okay of what it's supposed to be like okay so really question that about you heal those aspects of you where you think that it has to be complicated when it's not okay so this is about you as you heal you're coming up with a different strategy of how to manifest that person that you want that partnership that you want okay so some of you have already opened the door. Let's get into the energies of the person you are thinking about, okay? Or that is in your energy field, okay? Romantic-wise. Let's see. Virgo. Patience. Oh, my God. Patience, patience. All right. That's what I'm hearing. Um, because you're getting mad too, Virgo, okay? You're getting mad. You're like, I've done it all. Why isn't something moving forward for me when it comes to your romantic love life, okay? So let's see. Okay, whoa. All right. Hmm. There you are. There you are in this person's energetic space, okay? Queen of Pentacles right here. Okay, Virgo, I'm going to stop right here. 
because this is telling me that you're constantly in this person's mind space, okay? They constantly think about you. This is the King of Swords. Doesn't have to be what the King of Swords represents, okay? Doesn't have to be that sign of Libra, you know, Gemini, Aquarius. It doesn't have to be. The point here is that this person has you in their mind space constantly. They're constantly thinking about you. Okay, that's first off. Let's see what else for my Virgos. Whew. Wow. Now this is interesting. This is so interesting. So Virgo, you might be waiting for your person to make a move. This person is waiting for you to make a move. Okay, you are connecting with this person telepathically, Virgo. Okay, they, I mean, they are connecting with you. That's for sure. Like I said, they're in your mind. You are in their mind space. You are in that crown. Oh my God, this is crazy. So you might be picking up on this person's energy, even if they're not reaching out to you. Okay. If you're not communicating with them, they're constantly thinking about how to get you okay but i feel like this person is not making any moves they're not making any moves they're complacent and some of you might think oh in the past this person um they came in really passionately they came in really like aggressively and they're not doing that now. Do you know this person, whoever you're dealing with Virgo is very insecure. Okay. This person is insecure even if they didn't act like they're insecure. I feel that <clears throat> this person is avoiding a conversation with you. Okay, whoever they are, they're avoiding a conversation. And that's why I feel that this person is really in and out of your life. They are avoiding some type of confrontation. Okay, so for each of you, it's going to be different, whatever they're avoiding. So Virgo, it's kind of like this person knows you're going to bring something up and they're avoiding the conversation. They are hiding. I know this is your card, but they're hiding out, okay, um, for some reason. I feel that they, if you're communicating with them, they're keeping conversation short to, like, not really um, engaging in conversation with you, okay? We'll look in deeper into their energies, but let's get into you, Virgo, and we'll go back to that person and their feelings, okay? Let me see what energies my Virgos are in with this deck. Ha. Eight of Swords. Yep. Up in your mind, Virgo. You feel like you're trapped. You don't know what to do about this person. Okay. The world. Some of you are thinking, should I move on? Um, I like this energy, though. The reason is, is that you don't want to overthink this person and you. You want, you want to close out the old cycle between you and this person, okay? Whatever it is. So you might really be into this person, Virgo, but at the same time, you are thinking, I don't want things to be like they the way they were before between us, okay? So I don't know what dynamic you had from this person, but it's like you're going back to square one. So it feels like you're, you're thinking in your mind like, okay, if we're going to make this work, then it can't be the way it was before. And you are actually, yeah. 
Mm -hmm. Some of you are about to end this connection, okay? I don't know if you're communicating with this person or not. I don't see a lot of communication or I don't see it really going anywhere. So maybe you're just like having casual talk. Hey, how are you? Whatever. Because this person, like boring stuff, Virgo, this person is avoiding a conversation, okay? And you're thinking that, okay, I'm going through healing. I'm taking care of myself. Oh, I get it. I feel like some of you, you just want to break from this. You want to break, Virgo. Yeah, and you're at this time, you're weighing actually this person, okay? You're viewing them, you're analyzing them. Could they make, could they be what I want? You know, so like, let's say you want a husband or a wife or a spouse. Let's just call it a spouse. Spouse, girlfriend, boyfriend, lover, whatever, partner, however you want what. You're trying to figure out, is this person capable of that? Can I have that with this person? And a lot of you, I feel you stopped like probably communicating or seeing this person or some type of a break because it makes you sad. And now you're realizing how sad you are because like you're paying attention to your feelings, Virgo. And you haven't done that for a long time. And you're thinking, you know what? I am, what is making me so sad? You know, like what is making me so sad? So you might be really into this person, but all I see is swords. So what I feel like is like you're realizing whatever connection you have with this person, the swords outweigh the cups. Okay. You're thinking of it as like, okay, they hurt me. They are ignoring me. They're not giving me value. They, they, they. Okay. But you haven't been a paying attention to your feelings about them. And now you're finally are. So you're going through some type of emotional breakthrough, an emotional shift. Like I said from the beginning. Let's see how this person feels about you. I will not extend this reading, guys. Hmm. Yep. Queen of Swords here. Wow. See, this person right here, Virgo, I'm telling you. They are, they are really scared. So I'll tell you right now. They're up in their head. They're stressed out right now. They're anxious. You pulled your energy back from this person. You did. Okay. If you didn't, you will. Okay. You're about to, for some of you, because you, this person and you, it's like you're on some type of a break. Even if this person is communicating with you, even if they reach out to you soon, for some of you, the issue here is that there's no plans in place. There's no plans in place between you and this person. They don't have a plan, Virgo. That's what's bothering you. You're so strategic. You want to know. You want evidence. You want proof. What are your plans with me? Do we have any plans? And a lot of you are realizing you let go because there is no plans in place. So you don't see a future with them. You're like, I can't see a future with this person because there's no plans in place. And I know that's hard, Virgo. Okay? But they are definitely avoiding your queen of swords energy. They're avoiding that. They know you want to talk about it, okay? Even if you didn't tell them. If you didn't tell them, they know you want to, you want to talk about it. Look at this. They want to avoid the commitment talk. Like, where do I stand? 
Vir where do you know Virgo saying where do we stand? Where is this going? What type of a connection is this? We got the Hierophant here. This person is terrified. So they're avoiding you. They're, they might be avoiding you kind of like in a way, I feel like this is how it is. This person is, is pretty immature when it comes to like straight talk. Virgo, you want the straight talk. I feel like some of you, you could have been avoiding it for a while too, but you want straight talk now. Especially those of you ha who have done some healing, this, you, they feel that you are pulling back your energy. They feel that you want more, okay? So this person and you, this is, there needs to be a talk. Okay, hold on. I'm going to see because I feel that <clears throat> they're avoiding it. What else spirit can you tell us about, about this person? So for those of you who are like, well, why do they continue to talk to me? Okay, some of you are thinking like, why are they continuing to communicate with me? They, how should I say this? They still want you, Virgo. Like, that's not a question. It's not that they don't want you. It's just that they're avoiding a commitment talk. Yeah, they feel like it's too much heavy energy at this time. This person could be dealing with a lot of other things. There's conflict. There's different, there's definitely conflict. Um, yeah, they got so much feelings for you. Yeah, hold on guys, I'm going to. Okay, so this person is trying to deal with their emotions too that they have for you, okay? Virgo, I think that this person is so scared. It's like they're addicted to you. They're addicted to you. And some of you are like, yeah, right, Empire. No, they are. I just feel like this person doesn't show that. Obsessed. I hear obsessed. They're obsessed with you. But they keep all their feelings tucked in. Like, I don't even know. They keep all their feelings tucked in, okay? So this person here, I just heard Capricorn. I don't know if you're with the Capricorn, but doesn't have to be guys <laughs> um they keep their emotions like bottled up but this person does want something with you they do this is the four of wands they want something stable with you but they're so scared about it and i feel like it's because they're so um they feel so, because we got the devil energy here, right? With the temperance card. This person, I feel that they feel very attached to you, okay? And when they get attached, they freak out. Um, so this person knows that they have to put a lot of work into this. And I feel like they're not ready to put the work in. I, I do see that they have other responsibilities at this time. They have conflict. So there's like a conflict of interest, you know? That's what I'm hearing. They know that this would take a lot of energy up and all that stuff. And they know that it's going to take a lot of putting plans in place when it comes to this emperor energy, right? This person also has control issues, is what I'm hearing. Okay, 
So guys, this is what it is, Virgo. This person is, they want you. They're very attracted to you. They are addicted to whatever you gave to them before, okay? Whatever kind of love you gave to this per person before, they are um, addicted. But I feel that they are scared. They're scared. They're scared that they're gonna, you're going to have power over them. They're scared that you're going to reign over them. This person does have control issues. So it's kind of like, how do I... How do we do it with Virgo? How do I do this with Virgo without having Virgo control me? Okay. So it's not saying that you're controlling Virgo. I don't feel that. But I just think that because they're so, like, obsessed with you, they're addicted to your love. Okay. You're like a drug, Virgo. Okay. So this person doesn't want to be codependent on that they don't want you to have power over that over them because if you get into a connection to them they're scared with them like deeper commitment or whatnot they're scared that you are going to reign over them okay and possibly you know oh my god this is so sad this person thinks that if they get too close to you on that commitment level that you would, like, getting so close to them, getting to know them so well that you would, you would end that. Like, you would leave them. So this person definitely has some issues, Virgo, but they really, really, really are, like, I'm telling you, this person thinks that you are their drug, Okay. So I hope that this has helped you. I hope it's cleared some things out for you. If it has, don't forget to like this video. Let me know in the comments, Virgo. And I wish you all the best and peace out.